Welcome back! My name is Baller Scuba. This is Video Games Over Time. We are still in 1981, and today we're going to talk about Eastern Front 1941. The story of Eastern Front 1941 takes us back to Atari. We, of course, have been talking about Atari throughout our history of video games videos. The most recent time it was brought up was on our video on Centipede. Eastern Front was created by Chris Crawford. Crawford had already created a video game in Tank Dicks. Tank Dicks, computer game of armored combat on the Eastern Front, is a 1976 text-based tank battle game initially released for the IBM 1130 by Chris Crawford personally. It was then ported to the Commodore PET, TRS-80, Apple II, and Atari computer systems between 1978 and 1981. Because of the moderate success of Tank Dicks, Atari hired Crawford in September 1980. Seeing a co-worker's work on smooth scrolling on an Atari computer, Crawford decided to use the same technique for a tank battle game. By December 1980, Crawford had programmed a smooth scrolling map of Russia. By July 1981, Crawford was able to create a demonstration for the Origins Convention, a war games convention, in San Mateo, California. Crawford continued to work on the game. He would later estimate that he worked on the game for 800 hours. Crawford approached Atari with the game, but Atari felt that war games would not perform well on Atari's computers. However, the Atari Program Exchange was willing to put it in their catalog. The Atari Program Exchange, or APX, is a division of Atari that started in February 1981, started by Dale Yoakum. The purpose of APX is to create a publishing division that would release games for the Atari 400 and 800 computers. To do this, APX would publish a catalog that consumers could order their games from. The first catalog would be released in summer 1981. Eastern Front 1941, would start appearing in the catalog in August 1981, released on both disc and tape. Eastern Front 1941 is a war game simulation of the German invasion of the Soviet Union in 1941. The player controls the Germans while the computer plays the Russians. The player commands his units to move and conquer individual zones in Russia until the game ends on March 29th, 1942. At the end of the game, the player will get a certain amount of points based on how much land, especially the main cities, is conquered. The score can range between 0 and 255, with anything above 50 being considered good. That is a short history of Eastern Front 1941. With that now told, it's time to play the game for ourselves. And here we are in the game! This is Eastern Front 1941, as you can see, copyrighted uh, 1981 by Chris Crawford. Uh, there's no, like, real title screen. They just kind of throw you right into it. As you can see, it is June 22nd, 1941. That is the beginning of the offensive into Russia. Uh, hopefully we can do a lot before the winter comes. Winter in Russia is not going to be fun. Uh, I didn't explain a lot about this game kind of in the lead up to this game because this is going to be a slow contemplative game and uh, I want to kind of talk about it as we go forward. Uh, all these little cities here, they are of course going to mean a lot to us. We want to conquer as many cities as we can. Uh, the German forces are in white here and the Russian forces are in red. So you can see there's a militia army there. Uh, there's going to be two main things that are important about uh, each individual square, and that's the muster and the combat strength. The muster is going to be basically how much potential uh, for damage they have, and then the combat strength is their actual damage right now. So uh, they are close to full strength here, but not quite. 
uh, we have more militia here. They're not doing as well. Our forces on the other side here are, I believe, Finnish. Yeah, the Finnish Infantry Corps. If memory serves me correctly, the Finnish Infantry Corps will not attack. They will only defend. So I can't really use them to try to conquer uh, this city here, which I believe is St. Petersburg. They don't, like, let me know, but I believe that's St. Petersburg. Uh, there is a lot of terrain here. You can see some trees. Uh, this is supposed to be a swamp. The blue V's are supposed to be a swamp. I should point out that I don't have a lot of information about this game. There's just not that much information about this game out there. So I don't necessarily have a good strategy going into this. I'm just going to do what I can based on the limited information that I have about the game. So don't expect greatness from me here. Uh, I'm going to do what I can, like I said. Uh, we do have the infantry army. Um tank army here yeah so the x is in the middle of the square that's going to be your uh infantry and then your artillery is going to be uh the square inside of a square so you have the tank army here not very strong for a tank army the infantry is actually stronger than that and here's where the main forces are so most of them are right here in the middle as you can see i have 12 points you can kind of see that at the bottom uh but that's Kind of my score right now. Um, my goal eventually is to try to conquer Moscow, which I think will be here. Because I believe this is Smolensk here. I apologize, I don't know Russia all that well. So I believe that my main goal is basically to get Moscow here. Not that that has historically mattered all that much, uh, but that is a goal. Um, a lot of mountain ranges here. A lot of little things going for me um, because we're the Germans uh, we really want to rely on our tanks uh, they're called panzers in this game uh, that's going to be our main one here we're going to try to conquer as much as we can with our panzer corps um, and because we're Germans we, we want to go fast we want to conquer quickly and hope for the best um, like I said, I don't have a ton of information about this game. My, um, uh, the, the little bit that I was able to read, I was able to find the manual. The manual doesn't have a ton of information for me, but the idea is to try to surround and make sure that I conquer as many of the Russian forces as quickly as I can. Uh, I know they're the Soviet Union forces, but I'm probably going to call them Russian a lot. Okay. So that's kind of an overall idea of the game. Uh, seasons are going to matter, so let's try to do as much as we can before winter comes. Um, you'll, you'll know when it happens. I'll talk about that. So let's see what we have. We have a combat strength of 85 and mine's 120. How are you doing? You're at 118. And this is me at 198. The Panzer Corps, uh, that's, where, that's where the good stuff is. So um, the idea is that you're supposed to use the Atari joystick on this um, you can use the joystick to move around and then hit the one button to kind of do things if you hold that button down wait which way did i want to go i think i want to try to conquer the tank army first um, so you hold the button down and hit up and then it'll move that ar army up that's going to be my turn um, when it happens we're gonna tell pretty much everybody to do something here but i'm gonna tell them to go up and to the right I want to go basically through uh, my enemies here. That has a strong sense of an army here. So we're going to go right twice. And then we're going to go up and to the right like that. Um, yeah, especially the Panzer Corps. We're going to want to go through everybody. So we'll, we'll do three there. Um, like I said, we kind of want to move quickly because we are... German and that that's what we do are they not gonna let me go forward there we go so we're basically putting in orders for everybody and telling them what we want to do um, I have heard before that I kind of want to get my um, panzer corps through the army and then that way I can kind of set up a pincer attack I'm not entirely sure I'm gonna be able to do that but we will do what we can um, there's also supply in this game. Your combat strength is going to rely heavily on how much you can resupply. The idea is that you need to keep um, a straight line west. 
to the edge of the map. And that will ensure that you have supply coming your way. I should probably try to stay out of the swamp, but there's only so much I can do. Um, we'll go down after that. Like I said, I'm trying to push as much as I can. So yes, I am pushing through the enemy. That is the idea. How much that's actually going to happen is an entirely different question. But that is kind of my goal to kind of push. We'll do five with you. I want you to move very quickly. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to do with this, but we're, we're attempting good things. All right, 80, 79, 79. Those are not strong, strong tank armies. Um, 106, so we'll go like that. Try to surround them a bit. 126 versus 125, that's not good. We'll try to do this. Um, there's not a good chance that I'll be able to conquer everything at once, but we'll do what we can. Try to get people out of the river and out of the open ocean as much as I can. So I think that's commands to everybody. This is going to be a slow game. This is a war game on, uh, on an Atari computer. It's not, it's not going to be quick. All right, so we will put the, the Finnish uh, forces into position here. Don't mess with the Finns. All right, so then once all the commands are um, done, you can hit the Start button. Um, I have something mapped to start because modern keyboards don't have Start anymore, but it, it'll work. There we go. And we'll see what happens here. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right, we'll start at the top again. Uh, we made a lot of progress, and that's what makes me happy. Um, yeah, I don't think that they will actually do anything here, but we'll see. I do want to take that city, after all. Okay, so this is a city that I'm going to want to conquer as well. Um... 112 to 119, that's not good for me. Um, can I cancel that? All right, so then we'll, we'll have them go this way. Uh, I'm told that if I hold the button down and hit spacebar that I can cancel, but I have not gotten that to work yet. Um, 126 and 60. So we'll try to take out the tanks here and then kind of go that way and try to help out that. Um, you are going to keep pushing, like all the way to there, if you can. Um, we're going to have you kind of help just push, and then we will have you go this way and try to help take that out. Okay, so after that, I want you to go this way. And you can go that way. All right, you can go and just keep pushing. Once we get through that, it should be good. So just keep pushing. So we got up to 35 points, right, in one week. Uh, I believe there's going to be about 40 um, weeks for us to play. Um, everything kind of goes one week at a time. I guess our main goal is to do as much as we can before bad weather hits, which is coming. It, it will come. And then you support. Try to stay out of the, the swamp too much, but there's only so much I'm going to be able to do. Yeah, that's good. Yes, I know. They're, they're telling me that I can't go into that spot until um, it's clear, basically. Okay. Please wait. Yeah, I know. We'll go that way, though. 
Please wait. All right, there. And you can keep on going there. Yeah, they don't want me to put in the commands too quickly. But we should be fine. Okay, how are you doing? 113 versus 125. Keep on going that way. How are you doing? Alright, you can conquer that and push that way. And then you can conquer that way. And we should be good. You're not doing very well, though. So maybe take them off if you can. Then how are you doing? 82. Yeah, you're, you're still going that way. You're still going that way. And you're still going that way. I think that's good for now. Let's put in the commands and go. All right, once again, good progress head our way. Hey, reinforcements. Okay, so I'm up to 51. Not as uh, dramatic as a, a, a victory this time, but that's okay. Yeah, we got some reinforcements but not necessarily enough. We're gonna continue to try to take you out. Are you, you all set to conquer him? Good. 117. How are you? 85. Cause I kinda wanna wait for these guys to come help with that. Keep pushing. There is a town there. That way. Come on. I know I'm pressing the buttons quickly, but that's because I want to conquer. All right, to there. How are you doing? Okay, you're done. Just go all the way over there. Come on. How are you doing? Doing good. Conquer there. And start heading down. Did I tell you to do anything? I didn't. Go this way. I kind of want to conquer more in the south from there. So everybody kind of go that general direction. And we should be able to get some land on our side. We'll just keep you going straight that way. Just keep going as far as you can. Where are you heading? That way? All right, we might as well keep going and try to take out that tank unit. You keep going. Did I tell you what to do? No. You keep pushing. You can take out that one. You can take out that one. I believe he's gonna retreat east. That is my guess, but we'll move you south just in case he goes that way instead. Okay. Everybody just go to the right. I haven't figured out how to get the cancel to work, but everything else, I think we're good. Okay, go again. Did I, oh, I forgot to check the fins. How are the fins doing? Don't mess with the fins. Like, they, they got some numbers on their side. Yeah, they did not attack. <laughs> Eventually, we'll have to take that land, but yeah, I'm not entirely sure how. All right, let's hit the button. It doesn't always work. There we go. Sometimes I gotta hit it extra hard a few times. All right, so I got the city. So now we're up to 69 points. Things are looking good so far. It's still early. We have some work to go through, but we're getting there. Let's see here. Push you up. Try to take you out as best as I can. 
trying to, to start at the bottom this time. Did I tell you what to do? You're, you're still moving that way? Okay, I guess. Yeah, slow moving over here on the rivers. We're doing what we can. Okay, you're already moving. You're trying to help out. You're pushing up against that. All right, let's keep pushing. Going as quickly as we can. Yeah, I guess you help out with that, sure. Try to push him east. Okay, that's that's good for now. That's good, it's swampland, it goes slowly there. Still pushing. Come on, go that way. The computer does not like me pressing the buttons too quickly. Yeah, I can only do eight orders and I guess that's up to eight. There we go. And then, you know, just keep pushing south and east when you can. And east. Yeah, traffic jams are going to be an issue for me. Even the manual says, like, there's going to be traffic jams. <laughs> like, oh, super. You're still moving? Keep going all the way over there. We're going to have to get through this swamp. One way or another, we got to get through that. We have to do it before fall and autumn and all that kind of stuff shows up. Let alone winter. Winter, we might not be doing much. <laughs> Winter is bad. Sure. I guess. Um, what are you set to do? Nothing. And you're going to have to go north from there. That's good. And you're set to motor. You know, try to get through the forest as quickly as you can. Okay, so we need you. Are these guys going to be permanently stuck because they're pointing at each other? How do I cancel here? Yeah, it's not it's not working and that is going to upset me a bit. If those three guys can't move because I can't figure out how to cancel. And you guys are good. All right, hit the button and go. Is that it? All right, these guys are stuck. So how do I cancel here? Like I said, I was told if I just hold the button down and hit space bar, it would cancel. But that is not, not what is happening. So hold on, let me see if I can figure that out. If not, like, I, I lost three troops and that's going to be bad for me. So hold on. All right, figured it out. Apparently, because I had something mapped to the left control, that was causing the problem. So I, what I have to do is change that mapping. So I changed it to Z. And then if I hit the space bar, then it'll cancel. So just a little bug in the, the software, it seems. Okay, so uh, these guys can move now. So let's have them move um, around the river and somewhere, you know, useful for me. Yet yeah, they don't want me to go faster than the arrow. Okay, then you can go up here and to the right. Okay. Do I have everybody else doing something? No, I sure don't. So let's get that going. Just push. 
and then up again and to the right. You get there, and we're gonna try to push through the swamp here. As you can see, it's not it's not going so well for him, but you're still going. You know what? Let's have you go up and around. And then, yeah, you go that way, that's fine for now. Yeah, we're trying. Okay, cancel that, go to the right, and just try to push through the swamp. I have a decent score so far, but the problem is not getting the score. The problem is holding on to the score. And we'll talk about that more as we continue, but um, because we're German, like, like I said before, it's really all about going quickly. The question is, can we then hold on to it? Once, once winter comes, we might be in for a world of hurt. Do I have anything over here? Any new troops? Well, I have you. I haven't dealt with you in a while. Let's see if you can go conquer that. If I can push him, then maybe I can have access to the uh, to the city there. You know what? Try to go for a pincer attack on you. Try to push you out of the way. Yeah, canceling turns out to be very much needed. At least this turn. Yeah, just push. Okay, what do we got you doing? Not much. The Hung Hungarian, the Hungarian Panzer troops. Um, yeah, it doesn't necessarily matter what their name is, but uh, they are Hungarian, I presume. Okay. You go that way, we're going to push right. Eventually I'll have to deal with those guys, but for now... You know what? Why don't you deal with him? And you deal down there. Okay, so I think that's everybody. Let's hit the button and hope for the best here. All right, don't think I got too many points there, but we're pushing. Just a big push at the beginning. Okay, so you... You can go that way and then push up. Try to help out your Finnish comrades. That's too far. You go that way. And then push right. Just, you, you got it. Keep pushing right. I understand that's across a river and that's not necessarily the fastest mode of travel, but we're we're trying to keep the army kind of together, I think is the plan. <laughs> I don't know if it's a good plan, but it's the plan. I said, could not find a lot of information about strategies here. So a lot of this is just basic war knowledge from me and little else. Okay, you need to stop doing that. You need to go this way. Yeah, you guys aren't moving fast enough, so I'm just going to have you go right. You can avoid the swamp a bit. Just keep pushing. Okay, not there. You push that way and then to the left. Try to try to pincer them in if we can. That's a big if though. So um, I think I mentioned before that the supply lines are if uh, you can draw basically a, a line to the west 
that's good. So this guy right here does not have any um, resupply as a result of him being in that position. So instead of going to the right, we're going to put him down there so that he can hopefully get some resupplies going for him. I'll tell you what to do. I'll tell you what to do. Okay, come back up and help. Push him right. The Hungarian panzers aren't very strong, apparently. I don't know a lot about World War II. I have some knowledge. Of course, we all do, but, you know, about the Hungarian panzer strength didn't come up in my, uh, my high school lectures. For some reason. Nothing against Hungarians. But that did not seem to be part of our curriculum. All right, I do have 95 points, so that, that's something a little bit better. That's pretty much what I can do here. We are pushing people. Hey, defeated another square. And 105 points, so 10 more points. It's now August, which is starting to alarm me a little bit, but... We'll see what I can do. How's that? Yeah, you're good. Okay. You help out there. You push that way. Don't know how many turns we've had so far, but, you know, once bad things start to happen, I think we'll all see it. It'll happen in the Swampland, which is why well, I'm trying to get through it. Alright, how far did you make it? Three squares. <laughs> well, there's another three for you. Um, go up and through and then to the right. Just push to the right there. Okay, cancel that. I need you to defeat them. You can go to the right, just straight to the right. You can go to the right. You can go to the right. You know what? Take them off. Okay, so combat strength is not good, so... I'm going to assume that they get defeated this round, and I'm going to push you to the right. You're already going. You're already going. I'm sure these guys are lagging behind, because I'm sure there's a bit of a traffic jam there. Try to push to the right as much as I can. No, that was not what I wanted. Just, um, actually... Try to minimize your time in the swamp there. Okay, you're going. You're going. You're going. You done there? Yeah, keep going after that. And you're through, so push. Cancel that. You go this way and push. Take the city. Yeah, that's good, because you won't get further than that where I tell you to go. Try to get there. That's good for you, and they're just kind of holding. Okay, so how are you doing on reinforcements? Anybody send me reinforcements? That would have been great. Did not happen. Okay. Can I... I swear, like, I hit the button, I hold it, it doesn't, doesn't do it. There we go. The movement through the swamp is slow going, but... They're eventually getting through. 
All right, we made it to August 10th. Man, the months go quickly when you go one week at a time. All right, how are you doing? 113, 110, 89. Push. What do, what do we got here? 88, 105. Just push to the right. Cancel that. I want you to go that way. That's good. Okay. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Hold on. There we go. Cancel. Go down. Try to get through that if you can. Push through. Be the, the reason that I always go through the enemy like that is because if they take one step to the right, then all of a sudden I'm not attacking them anymore. And a lot of these guys will retreat. Especially the infantry. They will retreat often. So it is in your best interest to push through them, not just stop wherever they are and assume that you're going to fight there. Because that is not always the case. gonna have to move you away from there all right how are you doing we need to push down there stop that and head this way probably this way for you too but then you guys are kind of stuck going through that way well, one of you is. One, two. All right, so he made some progress. So we'll, we'll push him as far as we can in that general direction. Okay, so we'll go up and then to the right. Same with you, up and to the right. Of course, this guy's probably going to block you a bit, but that's okay. Yeah, right is the right direction. Go east. Fight with all your might. See if you can make it there. You probably can't, so head up and over. Where'd you come from? What are you doing here? You're blocking my supply lines. No, this way and up. And then I'm going to want you going down and over, surround them. Up and over. Yeah, there's just a lot of commanding here and not necessarily a lot of strategy at this point but we'll see if we can't get strategy eventually i still have even made it like off this main screen there's a whole bunch of stuff over here you know a whole lot of troops and everything i'm not sure i'm going to be able to get a max score at any point i'm told that you can get max score pretty easily um if you know what you're doing um kind of early on in the game but that's probably not going to happen for me. I'll, I'll do what I can. I'm not, it's not like I'm not going to try, but... Because I don't know what I'm doing and I can't seem to find the information that I'm looking for. You know, we're, we're just kind of doing what we can here. That's a lot of fighting going on. There's all these little bonuses that happen along the way you know if you're if you're defending and you're in a city you get an extra bonus don't know where you came from but you're gonna have to go take on the tank there but don't move too far after that did i get reinforcements i don't think so what do i want to 
want to start? I guess we'll start at the top again. I still don't have anything really to do with for my finish guys up here. They can ju they're just gonna hang out there for a while, I think. Okay, you're already attacking him um, as best as he can. I don't know where he's gonna go. By the time that my guy gets there, he'll probably be gone. But you know, kind of is what it is at that point. Yeah, keep pushing. You actually head up here. Um, that's not the direction I want you to go. I want you to kind of pincer them in. Actually, kind of try to go that way. I'm trying to do what I can, but, you know, I don't necessarily have a cohesive strategy here. And it really starts to feel like that after a while. But we'll keep going as best as I can. You're still trying to make it out of the swamp. As are you. As are you. The swamp is not a good place to hang out. I wouldn't recommend it. Actually, go that way. Then what's down here? Then to the right. We'll try to move these guys as best as I can. We probably need some more support down here. Probably not that way though. Like there. Trying to get as much movement on these guys as I can, but you know, things are kind of slow moving here. I have 132 points. I'd be happy with that if we could keep it, but I don't think we can. I don't know where this guy's going. That's the problem. That guy is throwing a wrench in all my, all my plans here. Okay. Go up and then to the right. Yeah, sure. You go up and to the right. Up and to the right, you know. At least I defeated everything there. Then you just, yeah, you just keep pushing. I think that's everybody. That is not you. What do I do with you? Let's go up. And over and down. Okay. Go. All right, some good fighting going on down there. Not a whole lot of movement in the swamp, but that is to be expected. Hundred and thirty-two points. Don't think that was my best round, but We'll see what I can do. We're still we're still fighting you. Oh no, we shouldn't be. You can head back to town there, secure the town. And my panzer troops are much stronger. Try to help out there where you can. Try to block him. And you guys are still just kind of fighting over there. Just fine. We have an important city there that we're going to try to take. Oh, I'm up to 142, but that's still just 10 points in that round. <laughs> I need more to start. That's not enough at this point. No, let's have you go that way. Just keep pushing, get out of the swamp. Hopefully everybody will be out of the swamp by the end of this. I think he is technically out of the swamp already. No surprises that the movement is so slow 
in the swamp. All right, so let's try to like pincer you in. Try to get around the outside on you. I don't know where you guys are going to be by the time you get there, though. You can just push right. Actually, yeah, you can just push right. You head down here. You just kind of go that way. And you can push to the right. And you're probably good, but we'll push you a couple little, couple more just in case you can make it. Yeah, I don't know where this guy's going, and I can't, like, get on him fast enough. He's not strong. Just need to take him out. Like I said, he's cutting off my supply lines. Dang, how are you doing? We'll push you up after that. That's good. That's good. I think that's good. <laughs> Alright, I think that's everybody again, so let's hit the button and make it to the end of August. Still technically summer. I don't know what the seasons are like in Russia. Can't say I've ever been there. But I'd assume that... You know, it's working out all, all right for me here. And now I'm up to 156. Okay, so that's something. Start at the top again. Hey, a little bit of reinforcements. How are you doing, buddy? Gee, he's got 90, but this is 110. <laughs> I, I kind of need to have this guy... Oh, two sets of reinforcements. See if I can get him up there. See if I can get some reinforcements going for you there. Anybody else? Okay, that looks like it. Man, they just left my tanks in the mountains. They're too smart for me. Moving around too much. Okay, still nothing to do there. So, let's see what I can do pushing this way. Yeah, we're going to have to move you across the river. It's slow going on the river, but it'll be slow going if there's a traffic jam, too. Yeah. Push to the right. Just push. Okay, so we got a good pincer attack on on you, but you're still you're still alive. How's that happening? Go Panzer Corps. You're you're a strong Panzer Corps for me. Go that way. That'll help. Down into the right. Okay, that way. Push this way. What are you doing? Yeah, that'll work. That works for now. And you can go that way. I've already forgotten which one's Moscow. <laughs> I'm sure that's the that's a big important one, but I just don't remember where it is. All right, so if you guys are all kind of stationed around that infantry corps, <laughs> taking them down, let's get you out of there. We'll see if he's still there by the time that tank gets there. You guys fight them. You still can defeat them. 
right? Yes. Sure. I, I, it's hard to get us around in this game, the way that everything's designed, because every all, all the enemies move so quickly. Well, not quickly, but they move, you know, by the time you get there. So it's hard to get a plan of attack going a lot. Lots of fighting. Looks like I'm winning at least here. Lots of pushing going on. We're into September. And still calculating my score. I see the asterisk. As meant calculating the score before. Does it not mean that now? 167. I thought that's where I was before. Did I not get any points? Okay, so then you cancel that, go up and try to help here. You take that on. You get us around there. Okay, you go and take that on. You kind of go around the other way. Like, I feel like I'm, I'm doing okay. But the key word there is okay. <laughs> it could be better. I feel like I've conquered a lot of land. But that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm winning. Um, the hard part comes during winter, not only because, you know, Russian winter is harsh, uh, but... You know, historically speaking, that's when the Soviet Union sends a whole bunch of reinforcements. And that's what's going to happen in the game as well. You can conquer, but the question is, can you hold? That becomes the real issue in this game. How do you hold on to the progress that you have made? And that's something that's going to be difficult for me to do. Where are you going? Alright, you push that way. Yeah, I'm not even checking like combat strengths or anything like that anymore. I just want to get progress done. And that means moving to the right, defeating what I see, stuff like that. Romanian! The Romanians are here! Don't know what happened to the Romanians, but the Romanians are good. They can hang out with the Hungarians. Still fighting there, huh? Okay, so then you go that way. And I think think that's everything? Nope, I got some reinforcements down here. The Italians are here! The Italians will help. I don't know, they could! I've also heard that like a lot of countries see the Italians as quitters. At least, I don't know, like everybody seems to have a country that they think like, oh you're the quitter. And I guess for some countries it is Italy. Uh, here in America, we look at France that way, which I've never fully understood. It's probably just from World War One and World War Two, to be honest. Okay, let's hit the button. Hit the button. Can you actually hear me hitting the button? It's not working. Hit the button. There we go. I mean, we're... Alright, we, we took out another square there. Like, this is where the main fighting is. That's why I'm kind of focused here. Um, I think I lost a square there. Uh, but we're up to 173. It's not quite fall yet, but we are getting there. How have you not taken them out yet? <laughs> Just defeat them. 
They're just sitting there waiting to be defeated. That freaking Panzer Corps is not helping me at all. What does it actually say when I do that? It's Malta Cruz. Okay. No, you're pushing to the right now. Wait, is this uh, Crimea? Is this the Ukraine? Without the the lines on the map, I can't I can't really tell. Okay, then you go up and to the right. Yeah, the Russian infantry will often just retreat. That's kind of their go-to move. Uh, in this game, at least. Once again, don't know a lot about World War II, but it's interesting to me that uh, Chris Crawford, at least, was pretty interested in the Eastern Front in particular. This was his go-to. He made basically three or four games, and two of them were about this particular part of World War II, the German invasion of the of Russia, of the Soviet Union. I don't know, it just seems like an interesting choice. Like, of all the battles that you could have chosen, it's like, just this one, over and over. Let's do it three times. Because I think he ends up making a, a couple more games based on this. Like, there's so many battles in history, I just don't see why this one in particular is the one that you pick. Oh, you're here. Try to push you that way. And try to push that way. That's good. You go around that. That's pretty much all I can do with that for now. You push there. Okay. I I'm eventually going to have to deal with kind of this northern section, but I've been avoiding it to this point. Hey, the button worked the first time. Because most of my forces are kind of in the middle and on the southern side. Yeah, this still is kind of the main battle area right here. Good things are happening in the south, but man, this guy is just... Just being a thorn in my side, getting away from me constantly. Alright, I'm up to 193. I mean, that is a good score. And it, I also just noticed that September isn't spelled right. <laughs> Took me this long to figure that out. Yeah. No, that's not where I wanted you to go. Let's try that again. Yeah, that's as far as you can go there. You basically follow him. All right, so we can try to take out a bit of the northern part there. Keep on pushing. Yeah, we're, we're making decent progress. So far we've played, what, about... We started in June, so it's it's been three months. We have six months to go. So I think this is going to have to do it for th this last turn here is going to do it for this part. And then we'll have to pick up here next time. I thought that we could make it to when um, we get the first change of seasons, uh, which I believe is next week. Um, I could be wrong, but like September 21st is, you know, the equinox. So I wouldn't be surprised if that's when they made the change. It is technically the start of fall, even though it has always felt like fall in September to me. 
That is not what this is. It is not technically fall yet. Okay, push up and over. You guys get over there. See if you can get around. Um, up and over. Hope he doesn't push away. Go that way, just in case he does try that. Why can't you kill him? Like three over, how about that? Does that work? Can't seemingly kill that guy. Yeah, that'll work. Try to spread them out a bit, but you don't want to do it too much. Go there, and then we'll have you take this route. Yes. Good. Then up. Can you make it over there? That would really help me out. Okay, do I have any reinforcements waiting for me? I don't see any waiting for me. Okay. Let's hit the button and go. Like, I got some of these guys surrounded, so you have to assume some of them are going to get wiped out here. But you just never know. We are still pushing. Not seeing a whole lot of fighting over here. Anybody want to take, you know, some, some chances here? Push a little bit further? Alright, we're up to 206. Like, we have a good score. And I'm not seeing that things have changed yet. The seasons still look the same as they did at the beginning. But, you know, that could change very quickly. And we are making a lot of progress. Uh, we don't have max score. It is still, you know, still late September. We still have a little bit of time before winter shows up. But uh, the mud season's coming. That's the one that concerns me the most. Uh, so we will pick up from here next time. This is going to take a while. The, the manual does say two to three hours, and so far that's looking about right. Uh, so we will pick up from here, see what we can do, see if I can hold the progress that I have made next time. That is going to do it for this part of Eastern Front 1941. I've been Baller Scuba. This has been Video Games Over Time. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you in October.